And we're good. Record. This is the second episode of Playing Your Throne Queen, and I have my queens here with me. My daughters, Audrey and Priscilla. Oh, my daughter. <laughs> Go ahead. I thought you were on, like, episode not two. This is episode two on YouTube. Because oh. we are starting, which is really good that okay. you brought it up. Because <laughs> I started this on, you know, um, let's just say on Anchor. Yeah. And Apple and all those things. And then someone mm -hmm. was like, you know what? You really should try YouTube. So this is the second okay. episode on YouTube. But this is our third season. Okay. So if you want to get a little bit of how this started a year ago, yes, you'll be able to find it um on, on, podcasts, on podcast, anywhere that you can listen to podcasts. Anywhere. Okay. But for YouTube, this is my second episode. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yes. Gotcha. So we're bringing them on. Bring them on. So make sure you subscribe because I want to build this channel and everyone was so intimidating. And it's like, really? You're just going to switch? And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to switch. I want people to see the videos, right? That's what we do. We switch it up. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, honey, what are you bringing the girls? To drink. You owe me a Moscato because <laughs> you gave it to your other daughter, but not me. That's right. Because and she that's how, first. And I had to walk. I knew I had to walk in here with a drink. I knew it. And that's what you did. And she, she tried to hide it. She tried to hide it. Hold on. Where's, where's the cup? cup? Where's, where's the cup? <laughs> she tried to, walk up. Tried to walk in here <laughs> like she was drinking coffee. I tried to be respectful. And she said, she wanted to sit on that end. Next to, on the other side of you. Yeah. So that so mom can smell me. And then it's, then you made a This is what you go to me. So I had to confess. All right. So <laughs> it's my day off. All right. So you're off. All right. So let's tell people what you're all about. <laughs> we didn't tell you it was going to be focused on you. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm about my dog and naps. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes. Uh, I don't know. Don't. <laughs> Come on. All right. Let's... See, she this is why I told you she needs a drink. I told... I'm about Moscato. Where's this that? Is... <laughs> There's the Moscato. <laughs> All right, so let me just break the ice with this, right? I think that it was really important for me to bring you guys on because all of our different ages, right? And I'm a young mother. We know. And a young, a young mamita, <laughs> for those that don't know, um, because I don't know, I'm not feeling, it, feeling the word grandma. So it's mamita for me. Okay, that works. So how did you guys feel when I told you to come and do the podcast? Um, when did you join me? I was at work or something. I was tired. And you, you, just said, you just said yes. Well, you asked so many times already, so I was like, oh, I can't say no again. <laughs> so I can't. Exactly. I can't say no again. So I think that there's something to be said, right? When we're on the table and you all have different, you have different lives. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right? So, go ahead. You said very different. <laughs> Why? Is this the mother talking? I don't even consider well, yeah. myself the mother anymore because you have all the... She took over. You passed the throne. Yeah, I'm <laughs> passing the throne to you. How is it? How is it being a mom and, oh my God. and chasing your dream? Very complex question. Uh, I have a three-year-old. Her name is Everly. And, um, we all have a three-year-old. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely. And there's people out there that think that Everly is my mom's daughter for sure because <laughs> that's why I get her all the way. Um, but yeah, it's it's the best thing that's ever happened to me. It's definitely pushed me and showed me a lot of things, you know, that I never knew I could do. Um like what? Like I said for him. Yeah. Yeah. I've become pretty <laughs> exactly. like that. Um I am starting a new career. As soon as I had her I I stood home with her for a few months during the pandemic, and then I decided to go to beauty school, and now I'm working full time in a salon. So a lot changed very quickly. Very quickly. Very quick. Within two years, my whole life changed, and I guess that's kind of what motherhood does to you. And I, I didn't think that it would happen as quick as it did, but <laughs> this is for the planner. You know, I know. You know. I know. I know. <laughs> for, for one week. 
week, I was like, oh shit, I might be pregnant. I was like, all right, so I have nine months. All right, I'm gonna have to call mom and tell her I actually am gonna get my real estate license. That'll take about three weeks. And then after that, I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with Macy. How do I move out of my apartment? Where can I move things? And then I was like, oh, you're not pregnant, girl, go get a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. This is crazy. Now, for those that don't know, Priscilla is the planner. Yeah. This knocked her off. <laughs> <laughs> There's no planning. There was there was no there was no planning. No. And I think that what threw people off a lot was also that beauty school. You know, you have a baby and then beauty school. Yeah. I think having her made me realize how quick things happen. And I just feel like realize why am I putting this off anymore? Like I can do it. And so it gave me that push, I think. So how's it going? Good. Well it's only beauty school, thank God. Yes. So now, how's, how's how's your, now it's building <laughs> now it's building your business, right? Yeah, building clientele. Um, I mean it's going great. I'm learning a lot, I'm doing a lot. Um Did you I catch guess, my color? She did my color yesterday. Oh, I saw your pictures. You saw your pictures? I like to blast her. Well, how? How? She's... What they am I don't... supposed to do? Not tell her what she did right there. They don't invite me anywhere. <laughs> oh, here she goes. Here she goes. Um, if anyone has ever had two girls, and these girls are three years apart, oh boy, the battles. All right, here we go. Audrey was alone for three years, and we should not mention anyone else but Audrey. Mm -hmm. That's her. <laughs> That's her, me, me. Everything is me, mom. Three years, you get used to it. I know. <laughs> now she has a whole life, like, hello, did you even mention me? Well, your sister did your hair the other day and you were posting, what? She got so happy when you did her hair that she was, yes, she did a live singing. She's also been asking me, but, my hair is very different, so I had to make sure that I had the tools to coach her and the patience to coach her to do my hair because it's not what you learn in baby school. And no, but it, it happened, right? It did. We made it through. And you were so happy. I was. You, she I was. went on live and started singing. I was feeling it. <laughs> you were feeling it. I was. I was. So, Audrey, tell us about you. Mm. What's going on? There's Come on. What's going on? Come on, I know Macy, you have a new apartment. You gotta tell, you know, people are expecting to hear the stuff that you, you know? There's nothing going on. I recently moved to East Rutherford. Yes, hello, that's new. That is new, I do love it there. You do? Uh, yeah, I do, actually. There, It's like a cute little town. It's like, it's right outside of the Met Stadium. When I walk outside, I can see the city. I can see the little Says the window. girl that calls me crying that she didn't think she was ready to move by herself. Yes, I did. Many times. <laughs> I think that I think you should say that because I think a lot of people feel like I want to get out, I want to get out, and then when they're on their own, they're like, oh, maybe. Well, I always know that I could do things on my own. It's just that I always have a sidekick with me. <laughs> so when I first was like, okay, I'm gonna move out, I had um I kind of could lean on that I was moving out to college with a roommate and yes. friends that I made there. And then after that, I met someone and then I wanted to move across country, but I could pull him there with me. God, so I dragged that. him to Vegas with me. Yes, so, and we all wanted to kill her. But we did it. And so Shit. we did that. And then I left him there. And then I moved back home for yeah. a few years. And then I moved out again. And then I was heavily leaning on uh, Kelsey. And then we broke up. And so for the first time I had to do something by myself. Yes. <laughs> so it was scary. So this there was a lot of coaching here, yeah. yeah, but I am so happy that you did. I'm like, we yeah. got you. Yes. We I got was, you, girl. I was just do it. Yes. I was 30 years old when I moved by myself for the first time. That's good. Yeah. But I love it myself now. That's right. That might have been something that I never got to experience. I love the fact that you got to experience yeah. that. Yeah. You know, just because, you know, like, I never got to experience that, but I love that yeah. you have that. 
Yeah, well, I have Macy, but it's still, it still counts. Like, you're on yes. your own and you get home, you know, this is your yeah, place. Yeah, I'm by myself. Sometimes I'm like, I'm here, I'm here alone. And you guys tell me anything. Exactly. <laughs> and yeah. you also confirmed to yourself that you could actually do it by yourself. Yes. That was huge. Yes, yes. We Especially were all here in New Jersey, it's very hard. We were all here, like, did she call you? No, she's good, right? Okay, she's good. Yeah. And then the phone calls to dad, right? Because Audrey is dad's little girl. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that she is ever going to grow. I mean, not even Priscilla. So Priscilla Priscilla is the next child, but everyone is like, she got it. But Elvis has this thing with Audrey, like, did you check on that? <laughs> like, she's fine. She's fine. <laughs> He's got She's my spoiled. back. She's spoiled. What you calls me? You got my back, Blue. Oh, I'm He's over there down. behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> what did she call? <laughs> she called me and told me, I'm going to ask Dad to buy me a new vacuum. <laughs> I'm like, oh, motherfucker. He's not buying you a new vacuum. Then he goes, he came and dropped it off for me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get a new vacuum. Hold on a second. Let's talk. No, let's, no, no, no. Let's talk. Let's talk about that. The only thing you didn't do was come back in the place for me. And you were expecting him to do that. I mean, if you wanted to give it a chest drive, I wouldn't. I don't even even know. I don't know what's. So now, let's jump into real estate, girl, because you know I'm going to put you in. And it was a setup. I I mean, do you see this personality? I'm just tired already of hearing you. Like, okay, mom, okay, mom. Like people love you. When you get someone to take the test for me. Oh my god. Okay, I have that child. I have the person that does not want to take the test. Get someone to take the test for me. Ethan is gonna pass the test before you. You're gonna be really upset. I won't. That boy don't got nothing to do but wipe his ass. <laughs> 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 he is he's working full time, but I think that you guys need to like collaborate. Yeah, so what I'm just saying. You both are so great with people, right? That I'm just like, you're killing me. You're killing me. Look, I know. Even Priscilla, and she's not all the time. I don't know. Listen, so I, I did think about it when my life my life flashed before my eyes the other See, last week. You better stop like, thinking about it. <laughs> you better stop thinking about it. Let's get it done. I mean, you have so many people that are like 
Okay, what is she going to get it done? You know that you have a lot of people waiting for you to get this done, right? I have fans, I know. You guys see you out there. <laughs> you have fans. And I'm here, like, you know, recruiting and motivating agents, and I'm like, I've got one of those at home. I've got one of those at home. Uh, you know what is up? We have to, it's the, tra one, that test, and then two, uh, the transition from working where I work in the service industry at a high-end steakhouse where I could bring home in one week a $1,500 check to taking the days back and the time back to make maybe half of that. Yes, but that's only at the beginning. It's, on, it's only at the beginning, I know, but the thing is that while it's only at the beginning, my bills don't stop. And that. So, it's but like, I know that everybody feels that way, but yeah. you know, we've already talked about this. You do have our support, and I know you can do it because I need someone's support financially. <laughs> I'm just gonna hit her right now. Well. <laughs> we, just need to, we just need to get this done. I There's a couple of days. How many days are you working? You don't. Have, you're not working seven days a week, so you need to put in the time. At this moment, no, I'm not. At this moment, I'm working three to four days. And that's why she's spoiled, because those three to four days, right? Yes. Those three to four days are not even full days. They're usually three to four shifts. And, and you I get that kind of money and clear more than what somebody usually makes working 40 hours at any job. Okay. Well, honey, I don't know. Can you get me one of those checks? Because maybe I'm going to have to do her. <laughs> Let me see the money. Let's, let's just show her the money because you could get that done too. Look, I have I have spent time and money in those classes. Me and that test. That's it. It's going to be done. It's going to This is this is You're going to take the test from me? No. You have to take the test. You just have to do it. Listen to your sister. You can still work at the restaurant two or three nights and work the daytime learning Everything you need to learn. She already day. learned it, girl. She just needs to take the damn test. All I'm saying is... Nobody has to show Audrey how to talk to people and close anybody. Because I walk into her place and she's... <laughs> You're closing everybody over there. I'm like, what? she thinks this place is only hers. <laughs> <laughs> that is my restaurant. <laughs> I know. That's what it feels like when we go there. <laughs> and they yes. love you. They, they, know, they know you can handle it, so... Yes, and they abuse me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hardest group. Ooh. Abuse. <laughs> it's not right. It's not right. <laughs> she likes it because she likes the money. <laughs> you need to stop that. You need to Fine. get it together. <laughs> All right. So tell us about your adventure with your niece. Because what people don't know is that. Priscilla's daughter, Everly, is the splitting image. <laughs> I mean, she is Audrey embodied in her little body. And yes. Priscilla's like, what the fuck happened here? <laughs> like, yeah, that's what she gets. I sent Priscilla a meme the other day, which you didn't respond because you never respond. Oh, but no, I'll get it this Friday. I mean, please, poor, poor Ethan. Don't, he'll get but that don't, yeah, don't, don't wake him up. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, I sent her a meme, and it said, it said, um, basically, it was like, are you the sibling that chased your? sibling around with a knife when your parents were at home. And I had a flashback in my mind when I chased Priscilla with a butter knife when you left Joanna taking care of us. Oh my God. And I was going to kill them both. <laughs> they were being mean to me. Oh my God. They were both being mean to you. Yes. Not nice. And so I got a butter knife. So she was a about to. <laughs> so that's why you're, you have something to pay back. That's why Everly cannot be still. And, mm -hmm. and Priscilla keeps on calling like, Mom, you don't understand. I'm like, what do you mean I don't understand? I totally understand. Did we not raise Ethan? I did. <laughs> we did. We had to take turns. It was a team effort. It was a team, it was a team effort. No one person could take that kid down. No, not one person. So I think that you got your training. Yeah. You got the perfect training. No, me and Everly always have a great time together. But yeah. The best parts are the pictures of these two in the bathroom. Like, oh I can't. my god! I can't. 
I'm using the bathroom and she passes me the littlest teeny. And I'm she like, girl, <laughs> thank you. this just, isn't even going to make it halfway down. Oh my God, I'm in the red. Ooh, thank thank you. you. It's my baby girl. It's because he knows <laughs> what I like. That's right. <laughs> Well, cheers to the cheers. podcast. Cheers to the podcast. <laughs> and the YouTube. And on YouTube, so subscribe. There we go. Mm. Oh, that's my favorite. Uh, what is uh, it you? Mine is probably a cab, and what do you guys have, a Moscato? We have a Moscato. Yes. I like the deeper. I'm dark. Oh, God. <laughs> Give me that toast again. Okay. <laughs> We're going to give him the toast again so he can get his picture. To the He's podcast. <laughs> to the podcast. Clean your throne queen. Clean your throne queen. Get it. I am so proud of you girls. I really mm -hmm. am. I'm proud of you, your mom, the mom that you are, and that you went after your dreams. And I am so proud of you that you were like, I'm going to do this. I am going to go out on my own. <laughs> Don't let me cry. <laughs> <laughs> Or no, you, I'm an emotional thug. <laughs> I know. You know don't, don't let me hear this. Yeah. <laughs> this one is, uh, yeah. She'll cry and carve your heart out. <laughs> yes. But I am. Good. I am very proud of you. And I know that that was okay. something really hard. And we are all in different times of our lives. We do things that are really meaningful to us. And that was your thing. When you yes. when you moved out, that, that changed everything for you, and we knew that it would. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, it did, it did, and that was I. Oh no, there was one other time, but I think okay, since I was that. in, I was just thinking, I was like, I think since I was in high school, that might have been the first time that I chose to leave a relationship. Yes. Yes. And you were brave, was brave scared. enough to do it. I was. But you know what? I and I took my dog too. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's my baby. I raised her. <laughs> I'm very proud of you. You need Thank to you. know. I mean, and sometimes it's hard to take that step, right? Yeah. And then everybody's gonna wonder and everybody has shit to say and talk and you're like, Yeah, fuck everybody. Yeah, that's that was the least of my worries. My yeah. worry was like, how are you going to survive in New Jersey when rent just keeps going up, 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 up? The daughter of a realtor. <laughs> yes. But don't yeah. worry. You're going to get that. Mm -hmm. I think if you were more in your head than anything else. Yeah. Yeah, no, I was more in my... Well, it was, it was a cross between the two. We were still kind of at the end of COVID. I still had a lot of repairing to do from the damage that I did financially in my early 20s. So I was like... Ooh, who is going to rent to me? <laughs> but I have <laughs> one. Absolutely. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. I guess it's not that bad. It's not no, that bad. It's not that bad. And we make friends everywhere you go. <laughs> yeah. We've all been there. Yeah. Right? I mean, it's far from perfect. And to find somewhere that would allow me to have a apartment to allow me to have a German Shepherd was almost impossible. You had, this child had all the problems that somebody could have to get a rental. Oh, I did. <laughs> But let me go. And we're not doing it without my dog, Mom. Nope. This, this is good. I've done that before and I wasn't doing it again. All right, so what about, how many times are we going to do this? Like, I want to get commitments on camera from you guys because I think people like to hear what your life's about. Come on. Am I going to get you like once a month or quarterly? Come on, give me something. <laughs> Let's see how the people react. <laughs> you guys decide. <laughs> all right. Do we have them on all the time? Come on. I think that people just want to see the different lifestyles and yeah. and what we're all doing, right? We're so what places. is this? You're on a different journey right now. I am You're totally on. on a different journey. And everyone keeps on asking me, like, but you sell real estate, but I want more. I mean, yes. that's just who I am. Yes, you just did your first book of a lot. It was like it's a not, motivational it was a event. Yes. event. I loved it. Thank yes. you guys for being there. That was there. amazing. That was amazing. And it was at the Sheridan where we used to sleep on the floor. Oh. <laughs> yes. That was that was the first thing circle. I thought of when you told me it was a share, and I was like, "Whoa, this is so crazy!" I know, you know, like I said, our lives haven't been perfect, but it was amazing to be able to speak up there in front of all those people and and have you guys there. Yeah. Did you know any of the staff there? 
from when you used to work there? No. Or did they do a full turnaround? No, they probably full turnaround. Turn around. But just being there in that room and you walking into that front desk, it really, like, my yeah. heart sank. I'm like, I can't believe that I'm here right now. Yeah. And the only thing that I could say that I got out of that job besides, you know, of course, financially, I needed to do that at mm -hmm. the time. I booked our first Disney trip. Yes. From working there. Do you know what I remember from that Disney trip? Do you know what it is? What? No. Before I say it? No, I don't. You quit smoking on that trip. Oh my God, yes. Yes. I mean, that was not even a focus for you, but focus <laughs> for me was, I need to get something out of this job and I'm gonna take my kids to Disney no matter what. Yes. There has to be a video still somewhere. Yeah. Of when you told us, I think it was on camera. I think yes, Dad I woke come. them up. Oh my God, I woke them up. Yes, and I was like, we're going to Disney, girls. Yes, yes. We got to take Everly as a group. We do. You know, we, we do. do. Have we got to re-experience all that together. Yep. And Ethan, together. just go as a yeah. whole family. You know. Yeah. I think dad, dad couldn't go at that time. Dad no. did not go at that time. Yeah. And I was so mad at him. I was oh. so mad at him because he was like, you know, I just started this job online. And I'm like, I'm taking my girls and I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> now, do like, you guys remember what I surprised her with when she came back? So was it a car? <laughs> it was a, a car. It was a brand new meeting. Yeah, it was a brand new <laughs> A car. Yes. 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 <laughs> that's right. So that stood behind working, but I got her. Yeah, you, know. you did the right thing. You did the right thing. Yeah, you guys were both both working so hard for yeah. so long. You did. And then dad got hurt, right? Well dad was got hurt and but, that's why we ended up having me having to take that extra job. Yeah. But I'm just you know, was it worth it? Hell yeah, it was all worth it. Yeah. Just to have you two like this here. And yes. now I'm looking forward to spending time with you, and and it's different, right? Like, yeah, this is not me mothering you all the time, and I want to hear you, and I want to see all your success, mm -hmm. and I, and most of all, because I didn't have it, I want you to enjoy your life. Yeah. When I see Priscilla, you know, just with her baby and and her family, I'm like, yes, yeah, she is going out you know, and enjoying her life. You know, I did things differently. Mm -hmm. And it's okay because it was the only thing that my mom had to pass down to me because that's how she did it, you yeah. know. And at least I see Priscilla enjoying her family and going on vacation and doing things and not just working, right? Mm -hmm. And you, I always see you and think like, yeah, I remember when I was like that give a shit who sees me, <laughs> what they say, I just didn't enjoy it long enough. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, it's as if, to me, I'm like, yeah, let her say and do whatever she wants. Because, you know, for and me, I do. It, <laughs> I, do. I, I love it. I love it. So, this is, this is yeah. different for me. Yes. But I'm, I'm loving everything. That's good. And you're on another journey right now. You're on your weight loss journey. You talked uh, about with Tara. I know. Yes. That has been really very hard. But I'm so happy because I'm like, I found myself. I found myself. You know. You're doing great. I did see that you joined that fitness challenge. Yes. I tried to join the same one, but for some reason I couldn't figure it out. I know well, you're I'll send it to you. Yeah. yeah. So I did a different one, but... Yeah, you've been doing so good, and I'm so proud of you. You inspired you. me to get myself in the gym, too. Do it. You don't want to let go. I know I'm supposed to say it's only to be healthy and everything, but that's total bullshit. And if you're a woman, you know that that's true. Yeah. It matters the way you show up. It matters what you're going to put on. And if what you have, you can't put on and look good in it, yeah. it sucks. When you start your day... With something so simple as putting clothes on with as a battle, that really does set your mindset different for yeah, the day. You do. Yeah. You feel different. You walk different. I mean, I can remember now. I've always worked because I needed to work, but mm -hmm. if I was done with work, I just wanted to hide. Yeah. I, you know, no pictures, no videos. 
Yeah. Videos, forget it, I'll die. And pictures, you know, every time I found a picture of myself, I used to throw it out. Like, oh, you used to no. disappear. And now you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Was... After the two years, basically, of the pandemic, and being stuck at home and doing nothing but eating, drinking, sleeping for almost a year and a half. I got into that place too where I was just like, actually I would prefer not to see anyone. I've had people that I hadn't seen for so long. And then, I don't know, I just was like, well, if you already did this, so if you're gonna sit there and now hide, you're gonna make it worse. And then it's just gonna continue yes. to pile on yes. the weight, the shame, the guilt, so. So we just pick up every day, we do something else to move forward. Yeah. And don't hide. No. Because hiding <laughs> is dangerous. It is. You start with one or two days and all of a sudden it's like a month that no yeah. one's seeing you. And you're like, okay, this is working out. So let no one see me. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, no. So, but this is good. We're going to do a lot of things together now. Yes. Did you struggle with anything during the pandemic? Or as a result to the pandemic of being stuck at home. But she was busy with was Everly. Busy. Yeah. You know, like Everly I mean, was. That was a whole world when the, you want you want to give her more. Everly, what, Everly was a blessing. I was saying internally. <laughs> and here's the thing, Everly is the total opposite of you. Yeah. Like good. she's more like grandma. No, she's more like this one. <laughs> she's like Priscilla <laughs> is the one that hardly talks. Everly is like. I mean, yeah, well, that people think that of Priscilla, but Audrey and I know that she can talk. That if you hit a button, <laughs> <laughs> it's like hitting a fuse. Yeah. Can you put a picture in the video? Exactly. <laughs> she has her moments. She has her moments. But I think that the one thing that Priscilla, you, I mean, you could share this because I'm sure there's a lot of mommies out there that need to hear this. The first time that Priscilla called me, I was like, Mom, there's so much pressure to. Am I going to stay home or am I going to go to work? Mm -hmm. And she started. Then she was, she finally has Everly where, and you know, at first time, the first time is challenging, you know, first few weeks. Mm -hmm. And she finally has Everly where she wants it to be. And then she's like, oh my God, how do people just wake up like this? Look at all her makeup and everything. I'm like, girl, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah. People do not wake up like this with a two month old. So Priscilla was putting a lot of pressure on herself on, she just wanted to snap right back into. Well, you see a lot on social media, you think it looks, what it looks like there is not what it is. And I've always been the person to wake up and have my makeup on, like before anything else. I know, and then she, so that, and she couldn't, and then it was a problem. <laughs> but every time I saw her, she did, and I'm like rolling in with a hoodie. But and she like, struggling, but the point of, yeah, she was struggling with that. Yeah. Well. When I had her, I knew all I wanted to do was just be a mom. Like, I love being a mom. Yes. But I didn't realize, like, everyone warns you about what the baby's going to be like. Not sleep, eat this, but mm -hmm. it gives you the whole rundown. But no one tells you what you're going to feel like as a mom. Um, you feel like a completely new person that you don't even know. And you're looking in the mirror and you're like, who is this person? So I went through, I don't think I knew. I went through so much depression on my own and I had my husband to support me and you know every second he was there telling me you're an amazing mom you can do this and I just wanted to jump off the balcony and and to have those thoughts I never thought that I could have them I've never had them before yeah it's part of but I never wanted to leave my baby. So it was like I was in a constant battle with myself. Like, I love my baby, I want my baby, but then I, I want to be out of here. Like, I want I want out, that's it. Yeah. So no one really tells you that you're gonna feel those things. And it took months, months, and I'm like, when is this gonna shake? Like, when am I, I'm happy. I'm with my baby, I'm happy. But then something happens where I'm just like, I, I can't do this. I remember one time, I think it was maybe the first week my husband went back to work. Mm -hmm. I was hysterically crying. I just could not stop. The baby was crying, the baby would stop. I called my mom and I'm like, I just can't, I'm gonna lose my shit. Like, you need to come here. Because I, I don't wanna hurt the baby, I don't wanna hurt myself, but I'm done. 
Like, I, I need to get out of this house. And for a while, I was like, no, I don't want anyone to visit. I don't want to go. I, don't, I didn't want people to come. We in. just showed up because we knew. Right. Because I was just like, I don't know what's going on with me yep. and my craziness. And I didn't want visitors. I was oh, like, course. I just want to be by myself. But I was trapping myself. Yeah. So I finally, when I broke, I was like, okay, mom, come She's like, I have a full day of appointments, but you're coming in my car. And I just <laughs> rode around with her everywhere. And that felt better. Just yes, being out. Just being out. But it took me a while to realize that I needed to just get out. And then once I did that, I think that broke the ice. And I started yes. taking the baby out. And I was right. like, we're going to go to Target. We're going to go to the supermarket. You scream your head off. I don't care. But I just need to breathe. I need to get out of my apartment. I know. And at first, when I was coming to see you, right, because I was like, OK, we can't leave her alone right away. We knew this. And Jay was so good because Jay was like, this is the week when I go back. I was like, OK, we got to like not just take over. But we need to be there so that she yeah. doesn't feel it. And you still do end up feeling it. And like I had you girls so young that I felt that ten times. Because mm -hmm. you're just not there thinking, you know, about these things. So, but for you, when you asked, when you said to me, like, Mom, what do you think? You know, should I go to work? And because I feel really guilty. Because everyone then makes you feel like, oh, you're going to leave your baby. Yeah. And I told her, I was like, you need to go to work, you go to work. Mm -hmm. I, I, had, I, I knew that I needed to get out and, and go back and like do something for myself. Yeah. But I was just like, I don't want to leave my baby. So, you know, the pandemic luckily gave me more time with her than I thought. And then that's when I was like, you know what, I should go back to school. Because when am I ever going to have the time to do this again? I'm home from work, I can do it. Um, so I put her in big, I think she was maybe like seven months. Yeah. And I started school. And, mm -hmm. and then you're doing what you love because God knows that Priscilla has ruined a lot of floors, a lot of towels. I bought you new towels. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> we should have known. We should have known. The one from the weekly hair dye? Yes. <laughs> we thought our hair was going to fall out. I don't know. <laughs> <what it is. laughs> So that's you should be happy with what you've accomplished, and it was so fast and all at once. Right? It was. And then you found like the best Dia ever, <laughs> and that little girl loves you. She's yeah. like, <laughs> wherever she sees a picture, Dia, Dia. I'm like, oh boy, Priscilla. <laughs> Audrey was the first phone call that I made when I I didn't want to believe I was pregnant. But this one, go get a test, go get a test, go get a test right now, go right now, get a test. I'm like, I just feel sick, I'm fine, I wasn't thinking anything. She was so persistent, she's like, you're right. I know, I know it, so I'm like, okay, I'm ready to go get the test. And I was just falling my eyes out, I'm like, what am I going to do? Oh my God, what did yeah. you say? I said I had a dream of pregnant. <laughs>
So yes. we definitely have to do this again. So yeah. don't forget to subscribe and um, let me know if you want these girls back here. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure they do. All right.